Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my uh, first world tour. Um, today we're in the, the nether and I'm just going to show you my nether hub and the fortress that I built or what it looks like now and maybe a few other things in the nether. So to begin with this is the nether hub. I use This is my main transport system to get to other parts of my world. Um, they should all have signs on them. Pretty sure this one doesn't. Yeah, because this this was the last one I built. Um, so just quickly, this one goes to my witch farm. This one goes to my third stronghold. This one goes to my mine. That goes to my second stronghold. That goes to my 1.7 base. That goes to my mesa biome and. That goes to my blaze farm. That goes to my first stronghold. So as you can tell, I've s I found three strongholds, which I will tell you about in a minute. Or well, which I'll tell you about in another episode. Um, most of the rail tracks have this design, which is quite nice with the glowstone there and the iron bars and that. I, I really like this. Um, I'll just show you the design for, for all the all of them, actually, because I, I, I some of them I quite like. This one I'm not such a fan of, but I, I want to to use the mossy for something, but I couldn't think of what, so I just incorporated it there. Yeah, that one's just like the, just like the first one. Um, that's another similar one. This one's the longest by far. It takes me to ten thousand blocks out in the overworld, uh, just over one thousand blocks in the Nether, so it's it's quite a long way. Yeah, it's, and it's actually a pain to build because this stuff and clay, nether brick and clay was a pain to get, but I got it eventually. That's similar. And then there's this one. I'll just pick that cart up for now. Um, so yeah, this is my nether hub and those are the tracks that I've just shown you. Um, and I'll go and show you what, the, what has become of the fortress that I did not dismantle. I kind of slightly altered it a bit. I actually made a tunnel so I could get to it as a way of getting out of the nether hub. Um, first portal generated in nether, disabled by creeper. Yep, I don't understand either. But I kind of, I filled in the hole and it's kind of like a museum in a way. I just left it the way it was and I've kind of prettied it up a bit so that things are a little, a little easier to get to and accessible. It's still made of cobble, but I did that on purpose just to reflect my building style of, of the past. Oh yeah, I want to I want to show you this. Um, a kind of design I did for, uh, the the Nether base. Oh yeah, I've got my Nether base. I forgot about that. Um, uh, basically that's my Nether base down there, and it's kind of hung. I like it like it's hung from chains. So, I don't know. I I kind of think that's cool. Um. Anyway, I this is just more of the fortress. Got a wee bit of a tower there. Or a staircase that spirals up, spirals up to another level. And just random, random wee pockets like this. So I know I, I just did it up. As you can see, the big pillar's been moved, and I filled in, filled in all this. This was a protection from ghasts, by the way, that I went, I made when I first came in that I've never removed, and I, I know it's just there's no point to removing it, so. Oh, and another thing, I never use torches in the nether, well, like, just in the open. This is the only time I've done it, and this was done when I originally played in this world, before um, coming back to it a second time. So, so yeah, I've actually done that much to the nether. I should do a bit more building in the nether, because, you know, it's it's still, it, it's a valid place to build, right? <laughs> uh, mini nether base? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a mini base. It's not exactly big. Just got basic... Um, Chests for storage of stuff, furnaces, enchanting table. What's in these? Nothing. Even a potion room, which I find kind of funny. It's even got stuff in it. Would you believe? You could do with some food. That's better food, in fact. I'll also take the bed. Yep, there we go. Is there a good pick in there, by the way? I'll just leave them. Okay, so that is my nether base, um, or well, my mini nether base, kind of just a nether hub 
homeliness kind of thing, although you can't put a bed in it because beds explode, as I will now demonstrate. No, I'm not demonstrating it. Um, I'm just going to go down this tunnel then, I'm going to show you my blaze farm. Okay, so we've arrived at my, well it's my blaze farm, but there's more than one farm here. Um, this is the track that I came down. Um, this is my blaze farm. It's, once again, a design of Etho, of Etho's lab. Oh man, I'm going to have to link his, I may as well just link his video in every one of my episodes because I'm going to mention him a lot. Um, or I have mentioned him a lot already. Uh, it's just basically the piston, vi uh, piston system where it pushes them down into this area. Uh, crusher. Crushes them. And then... After time, uh, it relinquishes, you can punch them, and then you do that to reset it. So, I, w I won't be showing it because otherwise it def the video definitely will lag. Um, that just goes up to the lights up there, and this is this goes around to the wiring. Yep. Crazy. Um, so over here, we've got a portal that goes out to the overworld. I'll show you where that goes in a minute. Uh, got the top of the the uh, whatever this is. <laughs> I know it's kind of a base. And then we've got the, the nether fort fortress next door. Um, and I'll show you what's up here. Um, I, I, I know this area is quite kind of, I'm not sure what to do with it. Because I'm I mean, I made all this area, and it's it. This looks nice and that, but um, up there was supposed to be a zombie pigment farm, which never quite materialised. So I've dismantled that. Over here's a um, weather farm, which actually does work. Although I admit I cheat. I do go to peaceful and switch to hard, and they'll spawn. And then after I've killed them all, switch back to peaceful and switch back to hard, and they'll spawn again. So, um, and that's another reason why there's half slabs that cover the Nether. Uh, if I run over here, maybe you'll get a better, better idea. Or well, you can already see just by the amount of <laughs> the amount of half slabs. Um, but yeah, I just completely covered the nether floor as far as the eye can see with them. Um, well, not as far as I can see because <laughs> I've not done that bit. But yeah, basically a lot of it has been covered. It's spreading, it's like a pesticide, it's just, not pesticide, it's like a pest, it's just, sp it's spreading. Um, I will now head into the portal to show it's in here. Actually, this will be a short episode now, come to think of it. I don't really have much to show, show in this, so I may as well just, actually I can go to the end as well. Yeah, I'll do that, why not? So this is my sheep farm. Uh, the building that I told you at the start of the last episode that I tore down because I didn't like it, that was my original sheep farm, but I've got one here. Which is actually better, but much more laggier. This is where I get my, my wool from. Um, oh, it's night time. A bit apprehensive about sleeping here in case I die. I went teleported all the way back here, but, well, what can you do? Uh, this is the sheep farm. Yeah, <laughs> I know, you, some might like it, some might not. I won't go up it, but basically it's got a level for every colour of sheep. And, yeah, these these grass blocks in the corner, are in the corner of each one, keep the grass fresh in case it's all eaten, but I don't think that'll ever happen. And it's just easy, you just go in and you shear them and, and that. And this is actually an island, by the way, and an island out, or out on its own. And this is this is what I've got on it, so it's it's quite good. I actually built this house. I saw it in the Minecraft uh, annual for 2014, and I really liked it. So I thought I may as well implement it in my world. So it only took me an hour or so to build, but it, I think it looks quite good. Um, much better than anything I could do anyway. 
I think it was Paul Soldier, Soldier Jr. who who made this. Oh man, I'm gonna have to link it to his channel now. <laughs> We've got iron there and food. Okay, so now I think my episode was supposed to end now, but I think that's been quite short. So I might go. I'll I'll, I'll take you guys to each of the strongholds and then take you to the end after that. And then we'll finish it. So I'll see you in a bit. This is stronghold number one. This is stronghold number two. This is stronghold number three. All right, guys. So we have successfully arrived in the end. This is the end dimension. And in all honesty, I've not actually built too much in the end either. Well, actually, having said that, I think I have, as you'll see in a minute. But there are two main, or well, three main features in the end. Okay, so this first one is the... Um, let me just get up here. The first is this part, so I spawned down there, uh, as, as you saw. And over here is where I leave. Is right up here, so it's very convenient. Now I did that on purpose. Um, however, when I was fighting the Ender Dragon, uh, I so I, I brought her over here, so I can I could um, kill her just above here because I had this idea for this kind of spiral railway track or whatever. Um, when I when I did this, I that it was good. It worked the way I wanted to do it. Not perfectly, but almost, which is good good enough for me. However. All the XP went into the void, so I ended up with about two levels from killing the Ender Dragon. But eh, whatever. And by the this was done in my second take of this world. In the first take, I did not know about the Ender Dragon. I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> I was that new to well, I wasn't that new to the game. I just hadn't watched videos on it much, so I didn't really know much about it. So I I, I didn't defeat the dragon in the first take, but <sighs> second take I I did, and here we are. Um, oh bother. Whoa, 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 I didn't know that would happen. I wonder what changed about that that made that. Anyway, so, we're going to uh, an Enderman farm here. It's an Enderman farm I no longer use because I've got another one. Uh, the spiral track takes us up to this part. And that's where you, uh, the, the portal to go back. Um, this rail track basically takes us to the Enderman farm. So, we are just arrived. <coughs> This is an old Enderman farm, once again, inspired by, yep, you've guessed it, Etho. Um, it, I know, it, it wasn't working as well for some reason. Uh, I, I've no idea why, but I wasn't really getting the rates like I used to be. Uh, like, hang on, I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it five minutes, or, well, not five minutes, like, a couple of minutes and see what I get, okay, so give me a minute. Okay, so I've, so I've, um, I've given this a few minutes, and I was actually wrong. <laughs> I don't know what was wrong last time. Last time I came here, there was absolutely nobody. But, uh, the thing seems to be working just as well this time, so... Um, I'm quite happy about that. So basically just do that and do that, and EXP. Um, I made a modification in that there's this fence, so I can see if they're on the roof. Um, the only downside is you have to run out to get the XP, <laughs> which could be quite dangerous because you don't know who's watching you. But they should all be one hit kills, so it's, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, yeah, so before I lose myself in, um, in nostalgia, I will, oh, I got to level 10 already. Still got a lot of ender pearls here, just from the amount of time I spent here. Anything in here? Nope, thought not. All right, so I'll head back. Uh, Give me a minute. Alright, see you in a bit. Okay, so... Ugh. As you can see, this is an automatic cart return. The cart runs into the cacti, gets destroyed, falls into the hopper, and that transports it all the way back down. Oh, bit of lag there. Although that's not unusual, especially for me. Oh, switch to peaceful because I'm a scaredy cat. Well, no, it's just for recording purposes. Less entities. It transports them all the way back down to here. So next time, I should be ready just to press this button. I still don't get why. 
Oh wait, I know I do. I do get it because that's the button I should have pressed. Right. Okay, that makes sense. I'm an idiot. Okay, so my next one is another Enderman farm, which ironically was built by Ethel. Again, this was the second one that Ethel built. Uh, basically, you just drop down here, because originally that one was high up. Um, this one is better because it's low down, and therefore the game has less spaces to check. Uh, I've actually got my volume mu muted. So anyway, you fall down. A portion of speed 2 is put at you and you run. Uh, the reason this is glass is because Enderman don't spawn in it. Um, I was going to change it out with a track or something, but I don't know, I quite like it the way it is. I'm just going to, you know, it's not, I come here often, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really affect me that much. I don't really, don't really mind. It is alright. It's okay. Um, and it, it does enough. This, this is actually further out, I think, than my other one. Yeah, this one's about 300 blocks, I'm pretty sure. Also some lightning glitch here. I've no idea what this lightning glitch is. Um, then this is how this is to stop Enderman teleporting, and finally we get to here. So this is where most of my enchanting is done now. Uh, basically, up there is the spawning pads. Enderman get pushed down here, and in contrast to the other mob farm, look at how quickly this one works. Look how quickly this fills, right? Yes, it lags a lot. I'll just stand still. Pretty much in about 30 seconds, maybe even less than that, you have Enderman. And the nice thing is you can just, if I can just, oop, took a screenshot. You can just run backwards and forwards. And, oop. Oh, Move out of the way, I want to see my XP bar. It is so quick to get to uh, level 30. Uh, so yeah guys, I think I will probably end the episode there. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep doing this until I get to level 30. This is what I, this is what I use to get most of my XP now. It's, um, it's very useful and I know XP is changing in the 1.8 update, but I think this will still this will still be useful in that it will it will provide me with the the necessary amounts of of XP I need. Um, almost at level 30, 28, 29, 30. This did take me, I think, about um, too much lag. Give me a minute. This did take me, I think, it was about pretty much a full day of building. Probably a good fourteen hours of building straight. I, I it took me to build this, and, and it costed a ton of resources, but it was worth it uh, in the end. Unlimited en ender pearls, so much so I can just chuck them off the side. Uh, do I have anything? I've got some diamonds. Let's enchant a. <sighs> Am I lacking a pick? I got a ton of picks in here. I'm gonna enchant a, a shovel. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, my problem, my only enchantment on this video, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Yep, that's what I like to see. Okay, so guys, that's uh, this. I think it's the third episode uh, that I've built, I've made. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys next time for episode four. Uh, goodbye.